Christ to pay the penalty, to pay the price for your sins, to die on the cross for your sins so that you may be made right with God. The Bible says God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their transgressions unto them. In simpler terms, that means God himself came to this earth and he came down here to reconcile us with him. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, your sins have separated you between you and God. We are separated from God because of the wicked deeds that we've done. We are separated from God because of all the sinful things that we do. And here's the thing. God saw our terrible state. He saw that we were headed for hell. He saw that we deserved judgment. He saw that we deserved God's punishment. And he had love for us. He had desire for us to be saved. He had so yeah. much love for us to be forgiven that he came down. Hallelujah. He sacrificed everything. Praise the scripture God. says in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 8, he became poor so that we could be rich. Amen. This is the thing. Hallelujah. Praise God. This is the thing. Amen. He Praise became God. poor so that we could be rich. He came <laughs> down here. He left everything. He left heaven. He left That's everything right. to save us from the flames of hell. He came down here to save us from the filthiness of sin. All the rottenness. Think about it. The racism that we see. The lying. The cheating. The stealing. Sexual sin. Sex before marriage. Homosexuality. All these types of sins. He came down here to cleanse us. To make us pure. That's to right. make us new. The Bible says the blood of Jesus Christ, God's Son, cleanses us from all sin. Hallelujah. He died on that cross. He poured out his blood to wash us clean. Our soul Hallelujah. is full of filthiness. <laughs> Our soul is full of wickedness. But the Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, he is the Son of God, came down here. He said, Amen. I am the bread of life. He said, the life which I give is my flesh.